In order to help prevent knee injuries, flexibility and strength uh, in the muscles around the knee as well as at the hip are important. I wanted to briefly talk about patellar tendonitis or jumper's knee, which is a common knee injury uh, due to repetitive loading at the knee and is commonly seen in sports such as basketball, volleyball, and in runners as well. In order to help prevent patellar tendonitis, I recommend working on quad flexibility uh, as well as strength and then glute strengthening as well. One. All right, to work on quad flexibility, we're just gonna start with a quad stretch. So pull your heel towards your butt. Uh, hold that until you feel a stretch. Hold that about 30 seconds. I'd recommend doing that on both sides. In order to work on glute strengthening, I recommend starting with a simple clamshells exercise. And you can do this with a light resistance band if you have one. So put that around your knees like so, and then you're gonna position yourself laying on your side. Laying on your side with your ankles and your knees together and your, your hips uh, flex. And then keeping your ankles together, you're just gonna separate your knees as far as you can while maintaining proper form. Do a set of 10, then flip over, do the other side. And I'd recommend kind of flipping back and forth until you've done three sets of 10 on both sides. A good quad strengthening exercise to start with for, for, for patellar tendonitis uh, is a simple straight leg raise. So start by squeezing your quad, lifting your leg up about six inches or so, and then slowly lowering it back down. Allow everything to relax. Rinse and repeat, and I recommend doing three sets of 10 for that.